It's a beautiful day, Your Highness. Beautiful day? Yes. Once you live to see the day, you Your call Highness. Me, you call me your, did you call me Your Highness? I want to change your title, sir. Instead you of your honor, your honor, I want to change it to Your Highness. Because you are the king of all the judges in Rhode Island. That's my opinion, though. <laughs> when you leave here, you may have an entirely different view of that. <laughs> okay, okay, sir. All right? Number one, Inspector Quinn, his car's been booted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before we even got to that, the number one was that jacket. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. No, it was my daughter's car, sir. Hold on for a minute. Number one, Inspector Quinn, his car has been booted. Right, so he made a conscious decision. I'm going to get up and I'm going to butter this judge up so much. <laughs> <laughs> that he's going to give me a break. So every royal title that he can think of, he just threw at me, right? So far, you haven't struck a chord. <laughs> no, 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 no. Anyway, you have three, not one, not two, but three red light violations. You also have five parking tickets. None of these have been paid, and that's why your motor vehicle was booted. Yes, Your Honor. It is my daughter's car. She's using it, not me. Oh, your daughter drives the car? Yes, she drives it. How old, me. How old is your daughter? Oh, she was born, I think, about 35. But she travels right now. She is not here. She's in Liberia. Oh, she's out of town. She, she's on the lamb. She took off. <laughs> <laughs> She's in Liberia right now, Your Honor. Yeah? Yes. Is she on vacation or is she working? <sighs> what happened is the kid that got elected president, he and I played soccer together, so. The, the new president called for your, sent for your daughter? <sighs> well, I would say yes, because. What did he say, Inspector Quinn? The new president wants his daughter? No, what I'm saying here is the new president, upon Weir, we were all kids together. We play soccer together in, oh. in Liberia. Oh, you know people in high places. <laughs> yes, John. This guy's president with the, he's friendly with the president of Liberia. I've been friendly yeah. with you also when you were in the old what, building what over there. I'm going to tell you something. If yes, you, sir. If you want to find out yes, how sir. friendly you are with this guy, right? Yes, sir. You should send him a wire right now and tell him that you need about 400 bucks to pay your tickets. <laughs> <laughs> you find out how friendly you are with him. That's a good one, Your Honor, right? Your Highness. He'll say to you, Ducoli, I'm sorry, you're on your own. <laughs> That's a good one, Your Highness. Please do me a favor. Don't call me Your Highness. No, but, okay. May I say something, sir? If you're going to call me, if you're going to give me a title, call me Your Royal Highness. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great. Good. I don't want to be just higher. I want it a little bit higher. Okay. As I say, Your Royal Highness, oh, you are okay. one of the now. best in the state of Rhode Island. Well, I'm going to have to stop being your royal subject. What are you going to oh, call yeah. him? I don't know how I'm going to handle that one. What are you going to call him? Oh, the Deputy Royal Highness. Deputy Royal Highness. Right, yes. Oh. I'll accept the title. He, I want to tell you, he's been called a lot of names in this case, <laughs> Most of which I can't repeat. Okay, right. So what else do you want to tell me about this, other than the fact that you're throwing your daughter under the bus? <coughs> so your daughter sent you here. She's with the president of Liberia. She's there in the royal palace, right? She's got people fanning her, they're feeding her cocktails and everything else. And here you are. <laughs> it's $300 for the uh, violations and a $100 boot fee yes. for a total of $400. How much of that can you pay today? I can pay $200, yeah. oh, Royal what, Highness. We'll release the boot when you pay $200. And then the other 200, make sure your daughter gives you the other 200 when she gets, when's she getting back? Oh, that's a very good question, Your Royal right. Highness. I would no, just have call, to pay please, it. Please, I, don't, I, call I, me your, I would, don't, don't call me your Royal Highness. I mean, I understand. I understand you're trying to be respectful, okay? No, 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 I understand, but. You can I, call me exactly what you think in your head. Your Royal Highness, if I put that to a vote right now, just for us to vote on just that, just <laughs> <laughs> everybody here is going to say yes. Because you are one of the, I'm not because I want a favor from you, Your Royal Highness, but you are one of the best in the state of Rhode Island. You see that? I see it. You see? <laughs> now I got you smiling, Your Royal Highness. <laughs> Work out a payment plan with Alyssa, okay? okay. Work out a payment plan with her. We'll release the boot. Thank you. Very, we'll release very the boot kind today. of Your Royal Highness. Okay, <laughs> please accept my title. Please, please, please. <laughs> we, we wish you well. <laughs> We wish your daughter well. We hope everything goes fine there in Liberia. We, and I hope your friend, the president, right, oh, yeah. invites you oh. to the royal palace, right, and treats you royally, and we would all be happy for you. Good luck. And your royal hand, you still look good, believe it or not. 
The last time I met was 1987. I in worked terrible. Building. Oh, oh, you, you oh, you're a repeat offender. Oh, no, not me parking ticket. I'm 72, Your Royal Highness. So, I mean, you look good. Anyway, I zip it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Inspector Quinn or his Deputy Royal Highness? It's a toss up. I love them both. How about a combination? His Royal Deputy Inspector Quinn. I like it. Bureaucratic, yet regal. Much like me. Done. Mr. Mafucci, you have four red light violations. Yes. I'd like to fight them all. I would like to fight in particularly uh, well, wait a minute. violation number 16, uh, 40, 96, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna 47. We're, we're gonna, Mr. Mafucci wants to fight these tickets. Okay, we're going to take 463 first. The light is yellow. It's red. He was the second car through? It's just not here, Judge. I'll stop it when it's on red. Okay, we're going to stop it when it's on red. The light is yellow. Red. Yes, but... It's well, it's just, just stop. It's this vehicle right here, Judge. All right, it's that vehicle right there. You see that vehicle? Yeah. He's got the arrow on Look at it. It's got the arrow on it. Do you see where your car is? Yes, yeah. It's right. before the crosswalk. It is. Right? The light is red. You're making a left-hand turn. All right, what do you want to tell me about that? The black vehicle in front of me cr cut me off, which impaired my vision, and I had to stop. Don't running. give me that. The black vehicle. Your vision was not impaired, young man. I mean, he. Young man, your he, vehicle. Your impaired. vision was not impaired. Don't give me a, don't give me a phony excuse, because it's not going to help you, right? That's in order that you don't have a bus or a big trailer truck in front of you. You got just a regular car, and you're in a hurry, and you want to get through the light. It's very simple. Let it run, Inspector Quinn. There's no way in the world your vision was impaired by that truck. None. All right, the next one is, in fairness to you, in fairness to you, we're going to look at the Pleasant Valley Parkway and Valley Street because the video was not clear, and the city may not be able to prove its case. So we're going to look at it. This is 063. I can't, but I can't see it. I can't see it. And my position is very clear that the city must prove its case. The only evidence they have here is a video, and I can't see the sign in the video. So I'm going to dismiss that one. Okay, next is 663, Service Road 7 and Broadway. The light is red already. All right. <clears throat> there are two signs. The signs are visible. You can't make a right-hand turn unless you stop. But can okay. you give me leniency with that? You want leniency. Yes. Inspector Quinn, bring his record up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You've had ten red light violations on cameras. Let me ask you, let me tell you something, young man. When you drive in Providence and you see cameras, right, they're there for a reason. But you're not here for that. So you want leniency. Usually we give people leniency because of good conduct, of extenuating circumstances, they have health problems, whatever the case might be. What are your extenuating circumstances why I should give you a break or leniency, as you put it, when I look at your record and you've got 10 violations? Tell me what they are. I'm a law-abiding citizen. What's that? I'm a law-abiding citizen. You're not a traffic-abiding citizen. So what are, what are your extenuating circumstances? Why should give you a break? Just a college kid making it. You're a college road. kid? Yes. Yeah, and where do you go to college? Johnson and Wales. Yeah, and your parents are paying your tuition? No. Who's paying your tuition? I am. Where do you work? McCormick and Schmidt. And I where? Do really, McCormick and Schmidt, downtown Providence. Yeah, well, you, you can't afford. You can't afford to pay college tuition going to become working at I McCormick. I also have Smith. a real estate license I, I for the state of Rhode Island. You have I a, also have a real estate license for the state of Rhode Island. Oh, good. So you make a lot of money. I do very well. Good. Now you now you've proven to me that you can afford to pay the tickets. I, <laughs> he's he's made it easy then, for us. If I have to Quinn. pay you tickets, then I can't pay tuition. You're going to pay. Okay, it's two hundred and twenty-five dollars. Can I fight the parking ticket, too? It's $225. See Inspector Quinn. He'll explain the parking ticket to you. If there is a blueprint for how not to win a case in court, this guy just wrote it. 
First, he tried to pull a snow job on me by saying that the truck blocked his vision. Second, he asked for leniency, claiming that he was a law-abiding citizen. Yet, he had 10 red light violations. And then, he felt the need to boast that he made a lot of money, at the same time that he's asking me to reduce his fine. Three strikes in your out. Pay the man. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.